Welcome to your God path today, entitled uh, Area of a Trapezoid. Are you feeling trapped? Because these are uh, your regular figures, so calculating the area is a little bit tricky. Um, so let's take a look at what today's focus is going to be. Um, basically, we're going to establish that there are four steps to calculating the area of a trapezoid. You want to divide the trapezoid into two triangles, um, and that's going to help with our organization. Once you've done that, um, you want to use area of the two triangles to find the total area of the trapezoid. All right, so let's take a look on our smart board. Okay, so here we are on the smart board here. We're going to take a look at trapezoids and how we can uh, cut these things up and um, learn how to calculate the area for them. So keep an eye on your screen. You're going to see the, uh, the steps that we learned about in class about how to calculate the area of a trapezoid flash up at the bottom. And if you apply these four steps to any trapezoid, you're pretty much going to be able to um, calculate the area of anything. So I'm going to bring out a trapezoid right now. I'm going to bring out this one right here. We're just going to make it a little bit bigger. And uh, this is basically what we've been dealing with in class. So I'm going to attach some measurements to it because we are going to need that if we want to calculate the area of it. And uh, we'll start from there. So we're just going to attach a measurement of 10 centimeters here. We'll keep it nice and easy. We'll call this one 5 centimeters. And we know to calculate the area of a trapezoid, we also need to know the height. And I'm just going to do this with a dotted line like so, and we are going to label that uh, six centimeters. All right, so we have everything we need now. So step one, if you'll remember, is we need to um, divide the trapezoid into two triangles, okay? So what we want to do is we want to divide this into two triangles, but we want to make sure that we don't cut any of the, any of the, the sides in half or anything like that. That's just going to make it really difficult. So the best way to do that is to just draw a line from one corner down to the other. All right. So now you see we have two triangles. Um, we have this big guy right here, and we have this smaller guy right here. Okay. We have two triangles. Um, you'll notice that I did not do anything to mess with these sides. All right. So this side at the top is still 10 centimeters. And this side at the bottom is still five centimeters. So everything remains intact, and uh, that's going to make things a lot easier for us. Okay. So since we've done that, we have uh, now accomplished um, step one. All right. So step one again was to label, or sorry, to uh, divide up the two triangles. Step two is to label those triangles, and I've sort of already done that with my colors. So we're just going to call this one red. And we're going to call this one blue. And that's really going to help when we go to calculate our area. Okay? So step two again is to label both of the triangles. As you can see, I labeled mine red and blue. Step three is probably the longest one. It's not the most difficult one, but it's the one that's going to take you the most time and require the most organization. And that is to calculate the area of both triangles. Now I'm going to use different colors for this. You just want to use sort of subheadings and whatnot. Basically, just divide up your page so you don't get too confused. So we're going to calculate the area of the red one first. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is state our formula. So formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. All right. We fill in our measures. The base of triangle R, or the red triangle, is 10 centimeters. All right, you see that up the top? I didn't cut that side in half, so I don't have to do anything crazy. The height, you can look over to the side there, is 6 centimeters. And that's actually going to be the height for both triangles. So it becomes 10 times 6 divided by 2 because it is a triangle. You multiply that out, you get 60 divided by 2. And so the area of triangle R, or the red one, is 30 centimeters squared. All right, so that's that part done. Next, we have to calculate the area of triangle B, or the blue triangle. I'm going to do that up here. And I think I mislabeled mine. I think that's supposed to be a red there. 
So triangle blue is up at the top. And again, we're going to start by stating our formula for a triangle, which is base times height divided by 2, and then just fill in the missing measures. Okay? So next thing we need to do is uh, fill in 5 centimeters for the base. The height remains the same for the, for the blue triangle as well, so it is 6, and we divide that by 2. 5 times 6 is 30, divided by 2, so 15 centimeters squared. All right? So we need to sort of keep that in mind because we're going to make some room here and get rid of some stuff. Okay? So we have the measures of our two triangles now. Blue equals 15 centimeters squared. And red equals 30 centimeters squared. So now that we know those two things, we can now carry on with step number four. And step number four is to calculate the total area of the entire trapezoid. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to add the total area or the area of triangle R and we're going to add it to the area of the blue triangle, triangle B. And what that is going to equal is our total area, which we're representing with TA. Okay? So we fill that in. We're going to get uh, 30 centimeters squared, which is the, again, area of our red triangle. We're going to add it to 15 centimeters squared, which is the area of our blue triangle. We add those together, we get a grand total of 45 centimeters squared for our trapezoid. Okay? So the textbook actually teaches you a number of different ways to do this. It gets you, you know, to divide it up into a rectangle and two triangles, and some of them are really quite confusing. I would strongly suggest just sticking with the method of dividing the two triangles. It's by far the easiest. You just need to make sure that you are remaining organized. All right? So that's about it. Let's uh, take a look at what we learned today. Okay, so we learned a few things that um, help us to calculate the area of a trapezoid. Um, and it's basically all for organizational purposes, so we always get the right answer. Um, we learned four steps to calculate the area of the trapezoid. Um, so if you follow these, it'll work every time. Step number one was to divide the trapezoid into two triangles, all right? This is very important because we know how to calculate the area of a triangle. Um, so if we do it this way, then we just, you know, basically work, way, work our way through knowing what we know already. Step two was to label each triangle. And again, this is just for organizational purposes. Um, that way we can um, carry out with what step three is, which is to calculate the area for each of those two triangles. All right, we know that area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So we just apply that to both triangles. Once we've done that, we add the area of each triangle together, and that will give us the total area of our trapezoid. And it's really just as simple as that. Um, so I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, that is what I'm here for. Please do not hesitate to ask. Have a good one, and later days.